losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief there's something that'll have what you need, what you need We're broken, it's tragic, we're not all elastic But maybe there's magic, believe you could have it Sit down, stand, jump Sit down, roll over, sleep, roll over Yes, good job Shake hands guys what's up welcome back to my channel if you're in my channel I'm Akanksha. welcome to another um, vlog so this I've been meaning to do like a day in my life vlog after like I uh, moved because of course my routine has changed and uh, so it'll be like fun to like do a take on it so here is one I just got done with my like first one and a half hour of my day uh, I need to take this guy out at least for 30 40 minutes or else he doesn't make, let me work during like you know the day so i need to like you know let all his energy out i didn't play fetch with him much today because like all his stuff is packed i just came back from the uh trip vacation i don't know if you guys saw that vlog yet or this will be first yet i don't know but that's the thing so anyways um i it's around like nine nine o'clock and uh, just waiting for my maid etc to come but i have so many parcels uh, since the last, you know, I've not here for like three, four days, right? So I have so much stuff. Let's unpack all that now. Bonk. everything I got this and this I bought Baki sub said all the products in this are for the video so like I put everything in one but look how cute this doggy is that is my doggy this is his doggy cutie okay so now I want to do my morning uh, skincare it's a little different from normal because I just came back from a vacation so I want to do a little a little extra pampering to my skin rejuvenate it a lot uh, more because I went to a beach and I came back it was quite humid quite hot I did not take care of my skin properly the four days so I just want to like you know uh, cleanse all my pores from within because like I'm starting to break out a little bit and I know it's because that I've, I've eaten a lot of junk I was in the sun in the humidity I was sweating a lot so I want to do a little bit of routine and I'm going to start off with double cleansing now I do want to double cleanse in the morning also because one a I, I just applied sunscreen white when I was taking more for a walk because I do not want to do anything more which harms my skin I have a new skincare range which I've been absolutely loving and it's one from one of my favorite brand for it which is benefit benefit has like an entire new skincare range and i was like super excited to try so this one this cleansing oil is from them so this is the pore uh, cleansing makeup removing oil now i've tried this to remove my makeup as well and it does such a fab job it's so lightweight it has oils like jojoba oil avocado oil etc which are like lightweight oils doesn't uh, just cleanse your skin but don't clog your pores so i'm just going to use that to just like melt off any gunk I have or any sunscreen I have. I had a little bit of mascara residue from last night. You can see it is completely come off now. 
Next, just cleansing my face. Okay, face is nice and clean. Now I want to do a mask. I want to do a mask basically A, because it's summer. I want to like get rid of the oiliness and also B, I want to unclog my uh, pores and there's nothing better than a clay mask. Now, but I have two different masks that I want to use. One on the T-zone where I'm extremely oily and two on the rest of the uh, face. Both cleanse your face really well. But like I need, th I think I just need a little bit extra help around the nose. So I'm just using like a different mask. First, I'm going in with this one. Next, I'm going in with the Speedy Recovery and I'm going to add it on the rest of the face. It gives such a cooling effect too. Who do I look like? Just going to let this dry. The five minutes in, the mask is almost dry. I want to cleanse it now. Usually, I just like you know wet it with water and cleanse it off. But because I'm doing a good job, I want to be a little bit fancy, so I'm going to use this. It's just easier to show as well. Like I can't bend and show. So dry mask. So I should make sure like everything is damp before it kind of like you know. My skin feels much better. Just been feeling so chip chip and so like you know um, dirty all this while. I feel like now my skin is like squeaky clean. I have the Benefit Professional Tight and Toned Toner. So this one is a very unique and special toner because I've never seen some, something like this. It's a foaming toner you guys. I love it. Like you don't need like a cotton pad or anything. You can just like pump it and then directly go it and apply it on your skin. It's so light Weight. like can you see it's just so lightweight it gets absorbed into your skin so easily and it's not just like any toner which doesn't make any sense it has AHA and PHA in it so basically it has exfoliants which is going to help you know repair your skin as well it's amazing too now I would of course recommend using this in the night because it does have chemical exfoliants but today I'm just doing like an entire treatment and also I'm just at home today I'm not going to go anywhere and of course I have to top this off any day with sunscreen so I'm going I'm good so I'm using this right right now I am absolutely love this one it's so unique and it does the job really well everything off topping everything off with a moisturizer so yeah guys that's my uh, skin that's about it that's a little quick skin rejuvenating routine with the benefit professional skincare range i do really enjoy the products if you want to check them out then they're exclusively available on sephora you can definitely check it out now i have other works to do. Moons in the crate because the maid is here. I'm trying to create it in him and he's actually happy and right? he just sleeps in it. He does have a few like you know behavioral issues so I just keep him inside just to like keep everybody safe. He has like a few triggers. Um, he's an MD so it's a little common with them so he's very territorial etc so the crate helps him and the maid be alive together <laughs> or else he will attack her only. He's so sleepy but he doesn't want to sleep just because the maid is here. But he likes it. Like he's okay with it. He like he has that mat which he's pretty comfortable with. And I got him a very big crate so that you know he has like space to like move around. Like you I I literally fit in it. It's a 48 inch crate for him, which is like too big, you can see. He's like it's quite small for the crate. But he loves it. He's thinking I'll open him now. I will not. Fine come on. He does so much stuff to like, you know, manafai me, which is so funny. Huh? Okay, I just did a little bit of uh, makeup. I literally just did foundation, concealer and blush. Like, that's it. A little bit of powder, of course. Uh, because I have to quickly shoot, um, you know, story, two stories actually and give. So, I just... Uh, thought I'll do that because I'm on a tight deadline. It's like, usually I start working after lunch, like filming part, like I sit and edit right now. But it's like 10, 10, 30 and I'm supposed to give this uh, a story by 10 a.m. So I just got ready. I don't, I just did like basic makeup so that I can get this work done. Then I'll take like a shower and probably start like shooting. I haven't shot like in like, I think five days. I, it's been three days on vacation and like one day yesterday, so. I have so much work pending and I want to do like so much filming as well so I want to get this done. I was to give it at 10 o'clock only and I'm a little late. So I quickly did like a little bit of makeup. I did literally just foundation, concealer, mascara and... Hey, Mona. 
Okay, you guys. After that, I just like started filming back to back. I didn't have a lot to do, but whatever I had, I finished. I had lunch. I sat down to film, and then I forgot that I, um, you know, was vlogging. I, I don't know. It's, it's. I know it feels like stupid to tell constantly, but I honestly like literally forgot that I did. But anyways, I'm done shooting. I took a shower. Uh, also, so my makeup is off for that um, reason. It's like three o'clock, so I got done early with my work today. Just want to clean up a little stuff because the house is a little messy. I just came back from vacation, so I want to put things off. And um, yeah, I just have a little bit editing work to do. I don't have. I don't want to like do much because after vacation blooms are real like you know once people i don't know how after vacation feel like so motivated to work and they'll get back to work next day for me after vacation to get rid of the vacation i need one day so today is that day for me but i did get work done right it was not like i didn't do anything so um, i'm just like kind of compensating for <laughs> uh, myself but um, yeah so far that is what happened I love playing with him. He's so goofy. He's such a goofy dog. He has such strong personality. Like it's I, I get so surprised by him every single day. Like he has issues, but then otherwise, like if you remove that part from him, he's such a cutie dog dude. Like I can't even tell you. He's such a fun. You you would love to irritate him. Like everybody says that you you really want to irritate him so much. But then the minute you do, you'll regret it. <laughs> but <laughs> sit, sit. Ah, ah, ah. Enough. Good. Good job. Okay. So my evening routine includes um, entertaining him before I take him on a walk. Before I take him on a walk, I just took a little bit break from editing. So I was like, on play with him. I have Gilmore Girls going on in the background. Something is always playing. So. It's like my constant favorite show. I'm like, let me show. Let me guys. Let me show you something funny. Okay, look at him. <laughs> I love irritating him like that. Come, 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 come. Okay, coffee time. I didn't have like any tea or coffee in the morning also today. You know what? I've never been a tea or a coffee person, okay? But um, I've realized why people get into coffee or tea. Like generally I would be like, you know, why are people so addicted to it? Like, you know, they need it. Like there are people who are like, Subha Utkhe, like they need tea and like they need coffee, right? So I was like, why do people need it? And I also started doing it once I started like living by myself because I feel like it's just that time for yourself in the morning to just like do something you need to drink some things i feel like people get used to it and i've just been having like a lot of black coffee in the morning which i know uh which I, which like i don't want to do i don't want to get addicted to coffee because it's not healthy so i started having green tea but today morning it was so busy because i've not been here for one week and i had so much stuff to do and i started shooting like pretty early in the morning so i couldn't have my tea only today i just directly have the lunch so i want to have like a good cup of coffee now i just have black coffee anyways but that also i want to do properly that I've been living alone right and uh, I've been very overwhelmed um, I just want I, I do like I want to talk to you guys properly so I will definitely do like uh, you know get ready with me because I have so much to share 
and I want to like do break it down into topics and probably talk about it. But generally, I just want to like you know share that I've just been it's been a very overwhelming feeling to live alone. Okay, like it's really nice, but it does come with a great amount of responsibility. And I generally used to think I'm a responsible person, and I think I still am. But like managing a house is like such a big task. And even after having helps, it's still a lot. Maybe like managing everything by myself for myself is like pretty easy. I've done this before, and it would have been fine. But like I have a dog, okay, and I've not realized how much of a toll it would take on me, honestly. But I, at the same time, it's also like I feel I would have been so lost without him. Like he keeps me company so much, and um, he's just like so. Um, Such an energetic dog, also that he never like you know. There's never a moment of boredom I have, which is great. But um, I I don't overall. It's just been like a very overwhelming thing. But honestly, I just feel without him, I don't know what I would have done. Like I just want to say this for myself. I feel on the video because I've just been so overwhelmed because of him, and I've been getting like you know really mad at him sometimes as well because I mean he has behavioral issues, okay and. Um, I I did get a trainer. It's going to start now to like you know train him for. He has extreme food aggression. He's very territorial, and especially after I've moved and I'm living by myself, he's just become so protective of me as well. So even if like my maid or girl come close to me, he'll like go in between both of us and he'll like you know snap at them, which is sweet to think of in general. But in real life, it's not because like if he harms other person. It's like you know, it's not right. So especially it's there with dogs, but especially he's an indie and he's still a puppy, so it's really strong with him. So like his behavioral issues have become very see like he's so reactive as well. Like, when anybody enters my corridor, he'll start barking. So yeah, like it's just been a very overwhelming feeling managing the house, managing my dog, uh, managing my work, and I. Like my work with the dog, I think I had to cut down a little bit of my work, which again is not ideal because obviously I ha- I'm just starting out and I need to grow. Um, and like a little around my schedule, I think I just have to be more organized. I am trying to be, and I ha- I think I've become a little organized than before. And I just, I have been able to work. He doesn't disturb me in the afternoon, but it's just like there's so many things in my head constantly. I've just been so overwhelmed lately. um i just thought like i wanted to share like if you have been you you just moved out you'll understand that it's not easy like i just had to take on so many things all at once and um and i still stay close to home okay so i've been having help like i keep going home bagera but even there has just been a lot to like handle and take um yeah like i don't know i've just been having coffee and i've been thinking about like Everything I have, I love having this coffee time for myself in this balcony. It just gives me like a lot of peace. It's a thing me and Moon do. We sit in that corner. I sit here, and it's just like something nice. But um, yeah, I just wanted to like you know share that because uh, I don't know. Like I have my mind is like a maze right now with so many different thoughts. I do want to break down and talk about it, but um, just wanted to. Let you know because I've made videos like you know oh I've been living alone etc. I just don't want to like glorify anything. It's great. I would like do it. I still don't still want to do it, but it's not easy. It's just so overwhelming. Like I feel like especially with this guy, it's I'm raising a kid literally, and like sometimes like basically even if in the evening I want to shoot, I have a little delay. I something added in the morning and I can't because I have to like take him on a walk and he's a very high energy dog. Okay, if I don't take him on a walk, he'll get destructive. And he, I have to not just take him like for uh, you know so so forty. I have to take him like forty fifty minutes every like like in the morning and in the night. And that's when he will let me walk as well. So that's physically also it's a lot for me. And um, yeah, I'm just like trying to process everything and like trying to get used to the new routine. Just not been able to because I've been traveling constantly somewhere or the other. Uh, and um, I don't know, like it's just been so lengthy right now. I will make another vlog talking about it because if I keep talking, this will just go on so long. But yeah, just um, you know, powering through. Go get it.
Get it, 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 get it. Yes! Good job, Moon. Good job. This is Moon's dinner and this is my dinner. I asked him to make aloo paratha. It looks very ugly but it does taste nice. I tasted a little bit of it. It just started raining out of nowhere and there's so much thunderstorm. Can you see that? It just started raining out of nowhere and there's like so much thunderstorm dude like. Parents are on their way. I really hope they don't get stuck in traffic. My parents are here. Charu, your mood is less. Twelve o'clock in the రెండు సపరేట్ కొమ్మలు that's about it for the video you guys that wow my hair looks so stunning that day i just like ended the uh, day watching movie with my dad for some reason he wanted to watch like balakrishna's movie so we just watched that and ended the um, day so yeah that's about it for this vlog uh, this video shout out goes to chaitrika tirunagari thank you chaitrika for always loving and supporting it absolutely means the world to me if you want to be part of next video shout out then all you have to do is comment below and use the hashtag #eks and you can be a part and that's about it i will see you guys in my next video